Play ball, a classic sports phrase, and also, as you can see, the title of the newest exhibit here at the Tri-Cities Historical Museum in Grand Haven. I am here with Erica and Kate. Y'all have really hit it out of the park with this one, it looks uh -huh. like. Uh -huh. Yes, we have. We're throwing out the Thank sports you. puns, all stories, so be prepared for that. Yes. Uh, Kate, you're the curator for this exhibit. Mm -hmm. It's come to life. How has the response been so far, and, and how special is it to have something as unique as this here in Grand Haven? Well, I think we've really hit it out of the park. Um, I think that you it's copied been, mine. I know. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's been a grand slam. I think there that we, we go. have. <laughs> I've had a ton of positive community response, not just you know people who are related to some of our famous sports stars, uh, but also just folks in general who are reminiscing about their time in the Tri Cities. What does this museum bring that? typically you might not see. We've been collecting since 19, was it 59? Mm -hmm. So we have over 70,000 objects in the museum's collection, but some of these items that were pulled for storage for this exhibit, this may be the first time they've ever been on display. And it dates back all the way to what, the 1800s? Depends the on the sport, yeah. Yes. You can see a lot of early history of our sports in the area, and also get to see a lot of the historic equipment, which is very cool especially if you're a golf nerd. <laughs> right on cue, like let's get started with the yes. first interactive piece uh, of this entire exhibit. The golf setup you guys got over here. One of my favorite things about this is that you can see for some of them, the old name of the club actually written on the club itself. So we're familiar with names like woods, irons, putters, etc. Mm -hmm. You can see some of the older names on the actual club faces themselves like Mashie or Niblick. Although the putters you have people using up here a little more modern, more modern. than some of this stuff. They huh? are modern. So how does this work over here? So well, we're playing horse. Okay. But instead of horse, it's golf. Sure. Hey! hey look at that. One for one. In one. On the board. If I make this one, I'm going to start getting a little too confident, a little too cocky. There we go. There we go. We're just going <laughs> trick shots now. <laughs> oh, oh that can't be good. Well, I'm not winning any prizes anytime ah, soon. Ah, a good one to go. end on. I spelled golf. <laughs> Close enough. It's not the only interactive no. piece of this uh, exhibit you have over here. How's your jumping skills? Uh, we're about to find out. This is measuring out the record for Spring Lake High School long jump boys and girls. What's wild with this is I triple checked the email when I was setting this up and putting the tape down and going, really? 21 feet plus? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure sure? Are you sure? And I'm not sure how long the standard running start is, but. Yeah, it's not regulation, okay? Not so regulation. cut me some slack over here. I don't think 21 feet, but halfway. you said the world record was 29. 29 and change. Okay, that's what we're going for. <laughs> I oh. made it maybe halfway to the woman's line. I, I didn't want Facing to show injury. up the high schoolers here. So. That's nice of you. Yeah, off camera, maybe I'll show you how it's yes. really done. Excellent. Do you have a favorite part of this exhibit? Or a favorite, favorite piece? Ooh, favorite piece. Favorite piece, that's tricky. I would actually have to say, I think that's gonna be the basketballs that we have over here. Let's go check them out. So our basketballs are from Grand Haven High School's distant past. We have one from 1927 and one from 1931. Grand Haven in the 20s and 30s was one of the state championship basketball teams over and over and over again. Very, very cool to see the legacy of basketball history in the area. These two cases are actually talking about the history of high school football in the area. We've got several different helmets. And over here in this case, we've actually got memorabilia from the 100th anniversary of Grand Haven football, which was in 1995, including a letter from President Ford who congratulated the team and the school for yeah. having 100 years of football. How about this? Let's move uh, from the football to the baseball world. Oh yeah. Yes. This case and this mannequin go with this gentleman here, Frank Sikori, who was an umpire in the MLB for 19 years. He actually uh, was an umpire for, I think, seven of the World Series, which is pretty impressive. Wow. Here we have Howard Bailey, local Grand Haven native. These are signed baseball cards from him. Mm. And we have Cornelius Neal Ball. He was actually the first baseball player credited with an unassisted triple play. And he's from here in Grand Haven. We think about sports and it tends to just be like, who won the game? 
who played. But the thing is that sports is a huge gateway for people of different races, classes, genders, religions to come together in society and break down barriers. One of my faves is William McKinley Graves. So he's the first known black athlete for Grand Haven High Schools. He was on the football team. Part of what I think is so fascinating about him is his grandfather was Frederick Graves who escaped slavery, fought in the Civil War, and then settled here after the Civil War. Wow. So it really shows the difference in generations from someone who had been enslaved to someone who was playing high school sports, engaged in school, and able to be a full participant in society. With everything you have here, how would you describe the identity of sports in this area? It's an unbridled enthusiasm. <laughs> There's just so much participation. We've got the different baseball leagues, we've got bowling leagues, we've got all of these things which are just so incredible when you think about the fact that you don't have to be a star athlete to enjoy and play sports and to have an impact on your local community through sports. Mm -hmm.